So good morning. So you can see this is a problem where the true length of a line is given that is uh, 125 mm and uh, the top view and the front view of the line is given with some inclination that front view is going to measure 75 mm and the top view is going to measure 100 mm and another one more condition is given that uh, the point Q and M of a line is in the first quadrant and coming to this uh, midpoint conditions that is 20 mm from both the planes so it is 20 mm from both the planes so for this what we have to do is first of all we have to take a true length of a line that is 125 mm so see here this is an xy line this is an xy line i have drawn and this is the front view of a line and this is the top view of a line now these two lines are parallel to both the planes that i am considering here so now looking at this how i have drawn this front view and top view with a giving of midpoint condition that is 20 mm from both the planes so that means that the m dash is 20 mm above the horizontal plane and 20 mm in front of vertical plane so that i have located the front view of a midpoint m dash 20 mm above the horizontal plane that is xy and 20 mm below the horizontal plane that is in front of vertical plane after locating these two m dash and m just i have drawn a parallel lines to xy on both the sides of a reference axis with the 125 mm as a length right <clears throat> then now what is the problem given so here the front view measures 75 mm so this is the final front view of a problem is given and here in this one how much inclination is not given so in the previous problems that we have seen for uh, line inclined to both the planes that is inclination theta with the HP and phi with the vertical plane will be given and you have to find out the final front view and final top view what is the distance but in this case in the problem the final front view is given and the final top view is given so right so actual length is 125 but we have to find out the line inclination with the horizontal plane as well as the vertical plane so right so now the final front view is given as 75 right okay then final top view is 100 i will take this 75 and 100 on this particular lines which i have taken into the consideration so now you see so final front view is given as 100 mm so sorry 75 so for 75 i will take it 75 this is midpoint is nothing but 37.5 so now i will take these two points okay so now i will write this one as p1 dash let me take this is q1 dash so now this length is how much this is 75 so how this p dash q dash will form 75 mm so when the line inclined to the vertical plane so like this when a line is inclined to the vertical plane then the projectors which are followed by this uh, inclination with the vertical plane will be shortened or reduced such that it is going to form as a 75 mm and what about the top view the top view is measured as 100 mm so 100 mm means i will take the midpoint as 5 and i will locate 100 on the same top view so right so how, why i am locating here this is p1 and this is q1 so as the line 125 mm is inclined to the horizontal plane such that the top view is reduced so you know this is the concept so right how to rotate and what to reduce so now for the simple what i'll do is i'll draw the projector lines i'll draw the projector lines from this p1 and q1 i'll draw the two projector lines passing through xy perpendicularly to this one then what i have to do so when this p dash q dash is rotated in such a way that this line is going to be reduced for p1 and q1 right so now what i have to do is i have to take m1 m sorry m dash and q1 as a distance as a distance and you have to rotate okay rotation in the same way m dash and p dash as a distance and you rotate okay so 
simply after rotating you join this two lines it may be vary when you do with the compass it, it may vary this line so now this length of a line this is nothing but p dash and this is q dash where i have rotated this line like this okay so now simply you can see here this is 125 mm line i am rotating this one like this okay so after rotating this p dash and q dash with theta degrees so now this is formed okay right in the same case <coughs> when the top u this p and q is rotated with the vertical plane rotated with the vertical plane such that p1 dash q1 dash is formed so how it is formed so simply you have to rotate this line just to draw a two perpendicular lines passing through these two okay after that you rotate this one okay 62.5 just you take the compass from midpoint to p and simply you rotate this one you will get p here okay in the same manner you rotate this one okay with this as a center m q1 as a center you rotate with the help of compass m and p1 p as a center you rotate this one okay after rotating sorry not this one so previously i have drawn from this q1 so sorry it is not q1 so it is q so from q to this particular line so this particular line what i am once again i am showing okay so now q to rotate this line up to this particular point okay now this q is going to be shifted here and this p is going to be shifted here now you draw the line from which is passing through this midpoint okay it may vary so right, let us see this point so now this is going to transfer up to here okay p is dash okay so when this pq line when this pq line is rotated right is rotated then the front view of this line is going to be decreased to 70 degree, 75 mm so this is 75 mm when inclination with the vertical plane it is 75 when inclination with the horizontal plane it is 100 so from p1 to q1 now what you have to find it out so here you have find out the real inclination with theta that is hp so that is inclination with the horizontal plane and here this is the rotation with vertical plane so you have found out this both and you have to mention the final front view and final top view projections on the locus points of the respective points so now what you do is draw the locus points of q dash p dash p q and p so right uh, see here so now you draw a parallel line to the axis now this is called uh, locus of uh, locus of q dash okay and here it is locus of p dash okay draw a small line light line so here locus of p dash and where is locus of q so here it is locus of q okay this one so now draw a line here so name it as locus of q and where is sorry q and where is p p is here so draw another line it may be up or it may be down because i have not taken to the scale with the help of compass so you write down draw a line here so now you write down here this is locus of p okay this is the top view of a p then now what you have to do is you have to rotate this p dash p1 dash and q1 dash what is this one this is a final front view where you have to rotate you have to rotate from m dash to q dash and you have to rotate this one to the locus of q dash and in the same way m dash to p1 dash to the locus of p dash so p dash locus is here so now you have to rotate like this okay now this is the point if you see if you want to join these two points so simply it should pass through the midpoint okay it should pass through the midpoint so now this is p1 dash and this one is q1 dash okay 
then next final top view final front view is uh, projected next uh, final top view should be projected so final top view is p1 m and q1 so now this p1 and m should be rotated to the locus of p where is the locus of p locus of p is this one this line so now from this particular point you have to turn this up to the locus okay just little bit this is a point so now what is this one p1 so now i will name it this one as p1 and where is this one q1 q1 is here so this q1 m to q1 is going to rotate on this particular line so here so if you draw this one this both will be this both arcs will be parallel and this both arcs will be parallel and this both arcs will be parallel so after getting this point simply join these three points okay okay it may get here so it may come like this okay this is p1 this is m and this is q1 so this is q1 q1 p1 and q1 and this one is p1 dash and q1 dash after final thing you can confirm that if you draw a perpendicular line to the xy line from any one of the point if you take any one of the point just simply you draw this is q1 and this is q1 dash if you join these two lines this line should make an 90 degrees with the xy line such that your problem is correct you can make it confirmation like this and the same thing if you draw a line passing through this one p1 and uh, p1 dash will also comes in the straight line so as per the scale it is not here so if you make it with the scale then it will get perfectly right thank you